situation up. He opened that situation up. We are called according to his purpose. Amen. 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 Let's catch, catch this. No, no, no. Catch that. Catch that revelation. Called according to whose purpose? My purpose? No. God's purpose. God has set this thing into motion. You don't think he saw this day? You don't think he saw our hearts? Our attitudes? God is saying this right now. He's trying to get us into a place. You know what the Lord spoke to me earlier as I was driving? He said, he who humbles himself is exalted in due time. But God resists the proud. We ain't going to talk about that. Y'all want to talk about some real stuff? We can talk about some real stuff. God resists pride. We think pride is something that, oh, man, I'm just, I'm so proud. You know, we see the colorful flags out there. Amen. And people even posting it on people's uh, on churches like we're supposed to be a part of that. They hijack God's promise and now they make it as a, as a mockery to God. Say, look at me. I'm proud. I'm proud. No, you're arrogant. You're out of order. You're completely coming against. You're worshiping the creation rather than the creator. Amen. And you defiled yourself with the attitudes that we have. And, and trust me, I got family members like that. Some of us have people we know closely and we say, hey, God, God is love. Yes, God is love. But love is not love. And that same God put things into order. And, and here's the thing. Yes, he's not a respecter of persons. But the moment you step on, you put your two cents, just like Peter put his two cents. Amen. What did Jesus say? What did the voice out of heaven say? He said, kill and eat, Peter. Slay and eat. And what did Peter say? Oh, Lord, I don't put anything unclean in my mouth. See, that's the problem. We keep putting our mind on things that God has already cleaned up. We keep trying to change the order of God. And God is saying, no, I'm doing something the way I want to do it because I'm the creator. Amen. And we forgot about the sovereignty of God. We forgot that God is all knowing. He's powerful. And he's trying to get us into a place where if he wants to do something different, let him do what he wants to do. And not us put our hand on things and say, this is not God. This is not anointed because it doesn't look like the way I was used to doing things. And God is saying, enough is enough. You're either going to let me be the potter that I am and you remain as the clay. Because at the end of the day, we are being shaped. We are being molded. And it is very, very, very uncomfortable in that process. But it is a beautiful process. Amen. And so I want everybody to know today, the Lord Jesus let me know is that we are going to operate in a place of molding, in a place of unconventionalism, in a place of non-tradition. OK, and what I mean by that is there are some things that we uphold. If it ain't in that word, it's going to get challenged by the word. Amen. If there are some things that we're adopting mindsets, we have to say, you know what, Lord, take the scales off my eyes. Show me the way that you see things. Show me the way to feel and be a part of this situation. Now, thank the Lord for what he's doing right now. We're going to keep it nice and concise. Amen. Since they took like an hour and 10 minutes off our thing. But this is how God wants to work it out. Amen. No, that's fine. That's fine. Actually, take take one of those down. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, guys. Um, we're going to start off just for a moment. Uh, and no apologies here. When I hear the Lord speak, I got to speak. I got to say it straight just how it is. And I'm going to tell you guys, here's another encouragement. The Lord will give you things to say and has gone giving you things to say to other people. You need to speak. Say it. Say it out of obedience to Christ. I know it may be some things that's difficult. You may have a family member that you just got to tell up straight up. Hey, I'm going to tell you how Jesus told the rest of the people. Repent now for the kingdom of God is right here. It's at hand. They're going to say, oh, I want to repent two years from now. I want to repent a year from now. I'm going to repent later. You don't have a later. Some of us got family members. They don't have a later, guys. You may not see them next Christmas. Amen. 
You need to be, this is, this is the Lord. You need to be so urgent about the word that God has given you in your household. So urgent with the community that you're dealing with. And don't hold back. Don't hold back. Christ does not want us to hold back whatsoever. Sister